Hey guys, it's Dan Amp, and I'm finally releasing this preset and sample pack I've been planning to release for quite a long time. Yeah. So uh, here we've got the project of presentation that can that is included with the pack. Uh, you can just open it. Yeah, things. It's uh, uh, only presets and samples except for this kick. Gotta admit, because I'm not good at making kicks, like at all. So yeah, uh, I guess snares are okay for me, but kicks, uh, I can't make them. I can modify them, but not make them. Okay, so uh, per before uh, going on to the presets and samples, let's listen to this. <laughs> That was the first example. The second example that is now dubstep. <laughs> and third example that is some kind of progressive thing. These two examples are just to show that, that uh, this pack can pretty much do lots of things. Uh, I just did this because I needed some other examples, but the main example here is, of course, this one. And I actually posted a preview on my SoundCloud that you might have heard. Okay, so uh, let's check out the presets we've got here. Uh, I gotta say, they are not raw. There are, there are some slight changes, but uh, mainly for like mixing and some details that you, that you could that you are totally able to do even if you're a beginner. It's some slight details. So first, uh, okay, these percussions. As I said, there is this click kick. <laughs> it's some stupid thing. Okay, if I if if I open the back here, uh, click kick is this symbol. I kind of I just added this to the kick to give more impact, and this kind of reverby thing. So without all the effects on this click kick, <laughs> it sound like this. Uh, still reverb there, and just a slight bit of mastering here. Okay, and this snare that I totally love, favorite snare of all times. <laughs> Uh, I did not make snare, it's just a combination of snares and reverbs and effects and I thought it was, sounded like really cool, it's only uh, stock FL stuff so even if only FL, even with only FL you can do some pretty cool stuff and uh, now we get to the synth, so this is just a sub, it's not from my, <laughs> it's not from my sample bag, it's just a basic sub uh, don't pay attention to that, just to Example sound a bit better, and now the sounds. Okay, so we've got this sound, uh, just slightly altered, like with some reverb and the reverb coming from here, and some high pass to get rid of the low. If, if we just remove these, it sounds like this. It's pretty much the same sound, but just like here, some slightly EQ, give it more uh, boost on the end, on the high end here. And low end, I remove the device there, and some just uh, tiny reverb and low high pass here. These are just for side chaining, so uh, just some details. 
is this one deactivated? I don't know. Oh uh, man, shit, it's probably deactivated in the reset pack, so yeah. Uh, we've got this space then. <laughs> awesome. Uh, also, high pass for the mix thing. If I just remove the high pass hits. <laughs> ah, just love this space, man. If you've noticed, it's also in this track. So yeah. Uh, uh, also, the presets are basically the name they are here. So this is Electro Bass Synth, that is Electro Bass Synth here. I'm not gonna show these to you. All these it's AS Harmonized Sound Bass. And you've got Plucks. It's this story Plug 3. Uh, slightly altered again. That's like some. Just before, a tiny bit of a distortion to make it louder and EQing. But it essentially sounds like this, originally. Like this, exactly. But it's pretty close, just. So, three of them is for to make, uh, to make this thing. As you've seen, I just took three of my, three of my presets and laid these together. Sounds awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Next thing we got this bell, which is a bell. <laughs> not it. Not much to say to say about it. Slightly cute as usual. Almost changes nothing. This. Thing, sweepy hard plug. Slightly alter again if I remove this. Like, same thing, but without the delay. Um, color slightly changed, of course. Here we've got Weirdo's one, <laughs> which is this. It's pretty cool with the, with the phasers, I think. And again, just some effects. Uh, this one is kind of a lot altered compared to the other one. Like it's original sounds like that, like that. Uh, also, <laughs> I'm gonna take a place where it's not. There. Yeah. Better, so let's uh, review once again this thing. We've got Bell. This sweepy hard black. And this weirdos. Now let's move back on these effects. Uh, it's already on, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, and we've got this just tiny patty impact. Here. But with the with the side chain, so kind of makes like a going up curve for the volume. So we've got fifth distort. I've just uh, deactivated volume envelope because it would sound pretty dumb. It that's not that that it's dumb, but there is it, there is this release that I didn't want to. Yeah, and except that, like this as usual and nothing. And fuzzy lead. So all these presets you can totally find this uh, in the in the preset pack. And we've got these two samples here that you can see. This synth impact. Again, slightly altered. This one, uh, this one is quite a lot altered actually. It's just I wanted to make this sound cool and fitting with the style. So first, uh, pitched up to uh, an octave. So originally it sounds like this. I like, pitched it up one octave. And there are all these effects on it. Uh, this one being the main one, which is a vocodex. Uh, it's just the sound of vocoding itself. It doesn't so it, it, it's said like that, it, it might sound dumb, but it's, it actually can do some pretty cool things. Like, it doesn't change much here, but... Here is with the vocodex and without. 
Uh, Reverse is loud air force, so it needs to be bring, bring down and reverb. And this thing, uh, I'm gonna explain later when I've reviewed the sound. Yes, yeah, just for this tiny bit of track. And then we've got this thing, which is actually originally an fix from a film that I've kind of altered a lot. So I thought it was it sounded cool. Even if you go to, no, I didn't, I didn't even alter it. This much. If you go to your suffix, you can probably hear it. I don't, I don't know which one. <laughs> it might actually be an old one. Legacy FX. Oh yeah, it's this one. So it was like this, and I made it like this. That's quite a big challenge. So I thought it was something really cool. So yeah, let's make it a sample and put it in the sample pack. Yeah, okay. And so uh, I'm gonna quickly quickly talk about this part. So yeah, uh, part not complicated. Drums, rhythm, uh, chord progression, as you saw. Like we've got sub and the two basses playing the same note, and then this three. Distorted plug playing three different melodies, like the first one playing this one, second one playing this one, third one playing this one. These are these three are actually exactly the same. Just because I need to make separate ones, because distortion here is not per voice, it's global distortion. So if you play different voices and different notes, it doesn't sound good. And there is this uh, balance uh, sweep using volume two envelope uh, volume three. It's for um, kind of bringing down everything else when the bass tab hits. Like if I just mute the bass tab, it's... Suddenly, suddenly gets like really, really more uh, intense here. No, not intense, uh, louder, really. A lot louder. If I just even mute this uh, thing here. Uh, it's, it's what the, these balance are for. It's, of nothing much here. If I just mute it, mute it. It ju it's just it's just for doing this effect. You have the bass tab being like very present, the main thing, and hitting very hard. So yeah, that's about this part. And then let's get on with this part. And it that is. <laughs> Okay, so this part, um, part two here, we've got same bass as before. This time, like, uh, just a little bit of mastering here. Uh, not, not mastering, uh, compression. Like this. A bit more bass, because it didn't have a lot of bass, so I, I brought it back. And then we've got fifth distort again. <laughs> This time, uh, reverb is like on and really on. Um, yeah, same thing. Uh, I've got these samples that are resynthesized re bass, uh, just like recorded bass, put it into, into uh, hard or more to, to change the sound like two or three times, something like that. I don't remember exactly. But I got three of these, uh, like the samples are. Uh, no, it's not there. I, here. Here. Samples, so it's these RS bass, first one, second one, third one. There's some basic thing stuff. So yeah, the of course it's a bit altered for to fit in the style and tempo and stuff. Then we've got this angry bass, <laughs> angry bass. Yeah, uh, here. Again, just a tiny bit of EQ as usual. And this EQ is also a low pass, if you, if you take a look here. Otherwise, it doesn't sound good, <laughs> like... Okay, and it's just to make this wobble thing. 
So yeah, I'm gonna talk about the presets later. For the moment I'm just listing them. This weirdy thing that we can hear like here and here and here. And then band pass bass uh, with kinda love the knobs. Yeah, I'm only moving uh the two main knobs which is first band pass and two second band pass here. Take a look at the badger. You can actually move all of these at the same time. You can make some pretty cool stuff. That doesn't sound much like you when you're moving every each one at um, separately, but when you move them all at once doing different stuff and you can you can do some pretty hype stuff. So yeah, I'll let you experiment with that. Then we've got an FM that we can hear here. <laughs> I can hear here and here. Okay, uh, another sample that is growl the growl one, the stick one. Here. here, just a slightly bit um, time altered, I think, or maybe not even time altered. That is. Here. And there is also a uh, slight bit of EQ and reverb as usual, just it's in track. And then this hard chord that is pitched down a bit, uh, it's hard chord 3 here. So we've got four uh, of these chords, like doing some different notes and stuff. These are actually re recorded from a track, and it's just. There, because oh, these sound cool. Let's record them. And there. Uh, and that's the part. Pretty much. Uh, drums are the same, different style. And this part, then. Part 3 here. We've got a uh, plug keyboard here that is some kind of plucky piano thing. And here I'm, al I'm altering the harsh hardness. Uh, X mod here. It's going up in the curve like. So here, uh, there are actually three them same melody. We've got high block two here. Yeah, they got it's uh, it's two uh, mods here uh, being altered at the same time. Doing this. And then we've got this distorted plug that in one of my favorite presets that I've made. <laughs> it is pressing in plug here. Going from there to there. Uh, then we've got a bass. Uh, bass here. <laughs> bass playing one note. Yeah. Oops. Bass. Pretty simple bass, but that, but I think it's pretty cool bass for a kind of track like that. And this noisy plug, that we might not, that cannot, might, blah, 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 that you might not be hearing very well, because it's pretty quiet and doing stuff. It's doing this. It's actually a melody I've recycled from one of my tracks. <laughs> Just to give you an example, it's not to make a track, absolutely not. And then we got this atmospheric synth. I'm not altering any of these parameters, but you can. Essentially, changes the noise in the synth, but you can think that whatever you want. And then kick impact that is pitched up. If it then the um, the notes, because this impact kind of has a note because of the reverb. I kind of liked it, so yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, so that is the just the presentation pro uh, project. So now I'm gonna go for uh, kind of some presets I like, some presets that are interesting, some presets that are that are cool generally. So let's begin by Hardmore and go for the first one in this list. 
uh, because there's one in the alphabetical order because it's begins by the number and it's fifth distort and it's literally called like this because it's the fifth that is distorted take a look at the oscillators i have added of the the sub harmony to it which is the fifth if i re just remove it it is uh, no, no. <laughs> stupid um it's because it's the fifth uh, i made this preset uh, quite a long time ago yeah it's because it's mainly this harmony <laughs> This one is also playing a role in the thing like when we put uh, Y back together. So this Y uh, controller here, as you can see it's muting or unmuting these uh, low harmonics. And it is, uh, and there is this sub uh, part, and it's, that's why there is this thing like, that it sounds so low suddenly, like, so it's pretty high here, and then you put this, put this up and that's way more lower than it, what it was. It's cause, uh, because of this fifth, when you distort it, it kind of adds uh, the harmonics that are supposed to be under there. So if I just remove it, that's pretty obviously um, not that low. So, of course, distortion, because it's distorted. And distortion, just a classic distortion with a little bit of a symmetry. It's not even needed. You can just remove it. I just think it's out of kinds of cool texture to it. Yeah, so that's why it's there. Uh, you can also change like the high harmonic presence here. Which you can just even have only this one playing. It's still cool. And in there and the Z mod, you can change the distortion amount. <laughs> Pretty cool preset, preset I've used quite a lot, actually. Um, one of my favorites, uh, for a synth, not a bass. So, uh, next one, angry bass one. I'm not gonna explain this one, I'm just gonna mess a bit. Have fun with this one. This one that I act actually used uh, in here, uh, part two here, this one. It is low past here. Okay, so the preset, uh, I'm gonna talk about it just a little. Pretty interesting preset, I think, because we've got uh, this very harsh thing comes from the high harmonic presence here because of the harmonizer and stuff and prism doing this uh, Reese thing. And kind of changes the the character of the sound by cha by changing the phaser amount. Like if you just remove the phaser, it's and if it sounds harsher with the phaser. So I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so next preset is the bell we heard earlier. You can change this brightness here, but it's just a basic low pass and the plug. I can do some synthetic thing and just some very short bell. Pretty cool. Uh, stupid plug. <laughs> Some other stupid plug. Even more stupid, I think. This one is like <laughs> very weird. Okay, uh, this sound um, that I used, uh, that I also used several times, is like so unexpected. It's, it's just so weird. Okay, so the sound is this. You might you might be thinking, oh, weird sound. This sounds dumb. Yeah, it does. But I think. The thing is like the sound like just make a saw, um very low saw. Detune it hard sounds horrible distortion still sounds horrible asymmetric distortion like thirty six percent sounds like this. Uh I used this sound like uh turning the amount of this detuning and distortion. 
distortion and stuff and thing in the su in a tr in some tracks, like in Carbonism maybe or um, Crazy Bits or something. But the sound is very weird. But I think you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. Okay, so uh, next sound. My f one of my favorite presets again. Some pluck. <laughs> Some pluck, yeah, like literally uh, nothing much to it. Some pluck, uh, moving some random stuff, and pluck. I can't even say to you how I did this, because it just puts some stuff together and it works. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. And now the pluck. This one more special, like it's sad, this wobble, uh, not the wobble, but fuzzy effect to it. You can uh, not get rid but lower this fuzzy effect by turning off this pitch thing because it's a very fast LFO in the pitch. You can kind of see it here wobble. I just remember all this. You can kind of see it wobble here if you got a high enough uh, resolution in your screen. It doesn't change really much. Even the sound on itself is fuzzy. I don't know why. Again, it's just me moving stuff and it works. That's how the sound was. Another distorted plug. This one is quite different too. Uh, these, I think these three are interesting because uh, the process is the same, but the sounds are very different. Like this process is the same, like with some unison, some plug, and some harmonizer stuff. Is doing another. Uh, high octave, just uh, altering the bit with the uh, harmonic phases and stuff, and it does some things. And sometimes it's very different because you just move this um, this parameter this way and this one this way. So yeah, another pluck. Next one, uh, some stupid synth. Some dupes. Uh, okay, dupes. So you just take a pew pew thing like here. Uh, I can test gran like this. Now it's more curvy, it's better. You take a one ratio frequency thing and one point five ratio three frequency thing like this and this, and play the two together, and it's dupes. Yeah. Also reverb. Uh, some plug. This one is called dual style plug because there are two style of plugs here. There is the that one here, and this style of plug. So mess with this as you like. Electro bass. Nothing much to say about it. Uh, this that I used in track, but I distorted a bit more here. By adding some post distortion here, uh, and no, it's just moving, boosting the high end, and boosting the high end, okay. Uh, that's it. Oops, uh, go back here. This bass. I kind of like this bass, it's pretty weird and it's hard to use in anything, but if you can fit it, I think it sounds pretty awesome, like... Fun stuff! Uh, next, fuzzy bass. Bass, again, uh, not for step or anything, just a bass, regular bass. But I still think this bass sounds pretty cool. Can change the vibrato amount here. I'm doing some really wacky stuff here. Or do you learn that? And you can totally do on your own after that. <laughs> and some fuzzy lead that I used here. Uh, here. Okay. Here is the original preset. Uh, if it, uh, is it not this one? Yes. Man, wait, this one. Okay. 
here. Wait. There. Good. Fun stuff. Fuzzy pluck. <laughs> It's pretty, pretty close to this other plug. Uh, it's slightly different, so I don't know why I made a second present, but it's here. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, fuzzy square. Lots of fuzzies. Uh, it's not really fuzzy, but I think it's cool. So, yeah. so this one is just slightly interesting because it's a mix between the square and some tiny stuff. So just the square like on its own and just add this tiny stuff in it and it's much softer thing. Some stuff with the plug if you want. Hey, some preset again. Some stupid thing synth again. Armor distorted plug, another weird weird plug. I'm very skilled at making weird plugs. <laughs> but it does some funky movements here, so I thought I just thought I'd save it because uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, uh, another plug. <laughs> well, it's just synth plug. No, don't play that. Okay, another synth. Or this uh, this one, I think this one is pretty cool. Uh, maybe how I won't use it in a track, but uh, cool. So save it. Another plug, <laughs> again. Another one of these chorus plug. Another. This one is without chorus, but. Uh, it's got a pretty good reverb, I think. Oh so, yeah, that's why I saved it. Maybe, I think. I remember. Uh, this sound, I, I really like this sound. Like, um, this is uh, the sound I made in my track, Lemon Run. Which is kind, kind of sounds like a police thing. <laughs> uh, in, in my, imagine it your own thing, but it sounds like this. <laughs> I call it hybrid because uh, the process of making it is actually pretty interesting and unexpected. Like, uh, it's mainly from taking a saw, uh, an octave higher, because, uh, and here take a square. Take the square by detuning and going to square. I prefer doing detuning like there is more harmonics this way. So here's a square, a saw, and a square. Take the saw, no, 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 take the square and put it to frequency 1.5. Does this stuff and then distort it. And that's pretty much the sound. It's slightly altered, of course, but it's the same uh, process and same character. Like, uh, why do I skip character? Same, uh, same thing. So yeah, pretty interesting sound. This one is actually hybrid because there was this uh, one ratio saw and one point five ratio square, and we can do some pretty fun stuff like do shifting between the saw and the square. Just added added a uh, resonance thing and stuff and. Changing the distortion. Now. So yeah, uh, this noisy plug that was before. It's making use of the uh, noise uh, resonance thing. Noise resonance thi thing is pretty special. It likes. Uh, if I just remove this, you see it's a uh, clear thing. But if I add the noise, it's 
It's doing some special stuff with it, like turning on, turning off. And that's where uh, this tones come from. It's also because it comes from this uh, pitch oscillation here. And this uh, LFO here. Also, pitch automation, uh, automation pitch envelope to do this. The impact to plug thing begins lower, goes higher, and goes light, goes back to normal. Like without it, it's just this. And with it, it's this. Uh, yeah. Have fun with this. Another plug. <laughs> the plug that, that I've changed, adding a fader and, and stuff, and some little details, but it's mainly the other plug that was. The other plug, stupid plug, I think. Another, another plug, again! If you haven't noticed, I really like plugs. <laughs> and something synth! Some soft synth. Uh, actually, it might be pretty good for lead. Happen with that? Uh, some black synth. Two together. This plug keyboard we had earlier, so then this thing is pretty interesting because uh, I just put a a piano sample in here. You can kind of hear the piano here. So yeah, I just put the piano at this height and played it higher and. There's some interesting stuff. Uh, some here I'm chanting uh, like a low pass, doing a low pass to make it softer, and doing some stuff with the harmonizer too. Not much, but it's there. And this thing it's, a, it's actually pretty interesting because uh, if, if it's all the way down, you know, I've kind of these these. Uh, messy stuff here, and thing that I, I just uh, mapped the um, Queen's global EQ thing, no, not the global EQ. I, I know made it, I made it. Somewhere. Uh, uh, oh yeah, it was the filter. It was with the filter. With the filter, I did some stuff, and this thing is basically changing uh, how much these things are present or not. I removed between these, then there's these, and actually when I, when I remove these, it actually sounds more clicky, it's, it's weird, like without, no, with, and without, and there is also this, just this little impact there, some tiny stuff. Okay, next, a bass. A riser. And you get it. Another riser. I think you get it. A bass again. Pluck! Yeah! Uh, but this one is really stupid. It's just there. I don't know which why it's there, but. Is there another plug? Another stupid plug. This plug that is has some properties. So yeah, it's there. It's these properties are coming from these oscillators I added mainly. So yeah, have, have fun. Another bass that I used here, that is one of the basses, that is the bass in the third part. And some soft signy, it's called, it's a, 
this. There, shut up. Yeah, it sounds like yeah, some some sine wave. So yes, yeah, this is soft sine. Yeah. Uh, here is one interesting SFX I made. I just made stuff and it did this. And if we, yeah, there there are two SFXs and one armor here. There's this one that is also using the noise stuff and doing some things, uh, fader and pitch automation. And here we've got, uh, oops. Here we've got using the noise again doing some pitch automation and using the phaser by doing all these things I can do something like that it's just random stuff don't ask me how I did it I just did some other kind of same thing this one is alone and so on and it looks looks pretty trippy uh, it's cause I used the frequency phaser uh, this phaser is actually pretty special cause instead of turning on and off harmonics it moves the height of harmonics so you can see what it does here. So yeah, these are the stripe PS fixes and after that there is <laughs> stupid bass thing. I think I think it's a bit stupid. Still get this kind of ringy thing you know I kinda like so I kept it. It's very light but eh, this impact I kinda like this impact so yeah it's there. Ah, uh, it's a plug. <laughs> uh, why did I call this? Not some plug. Well, some stuff get get that. Uh, this that I used here is this sound, but without effects. But as, you, as you can hear, it's exactly the same sound. So this sound is. Like pretty much everything else, just moving some stuff around, doing some random things, like giving this. Uh, okay, so no, this is actually pretty interesting here. This shape, because um, I took the prism way down there, and I turned off, on and off, or lowered some harmonics due to the prism movements to make this sound. Uh, this sound originally. So I just layered it with some saw and unison. And you, as, you, as you can hear when it moves, it's kind of messy uh, when it moves. And it's due to the fact that the legato here is a straight line and here is a exponential line kind of. Uh, so the one moves faster than the other so the pitch are different and it makes this messy stuff just when it sweeps. And I thought this was pretty cool, so if you just want to disable it, just put this one on a straight line and it disables it. Now it's clear, now it's messy. Now it's clear. Also, uh, some volume envelope to make it uh, shut down fast. You can disable it and have it this way. But keep in mind there is a plug here, so yeah. Next thing is a plug again. <laughs> again. Hey, another weird plug. This isn't the name weird plug. So, so uh, yeah. Weirdos. Uh, there's this one I use here. So it's exactly the same, but without the effects, it's. Kind of sounds like this hybrid thing I had, but it's not the same process at all, like there is only one oscillator here. But it sounds pretty interesting and then Widows 2, there is a variant of the first one that is... It's actually, uh, the, the first one is issued from the second and these sounds very different, so I just changed some slight things and... So I, I still think this one sounds pretty cool. You can disable the volume envelope if you just want to. Yeah, fun stuff. So this is it for the Harmer preset. Let's move on to the Citrus presets. I'm not gonna go ev through every one of them because 
Are all these effing bases, all these affin with is. So, let's begin with this hard wobble. A wobbly thing. Uh, some Atmos synth we used here. As I showed earlier. A pluck. A very, really vape. Very basic plug, just a soul wave. Uh, altered soul wave, just uh, fun stuff. No, it's not a soul wave. I just put a thing and move. Yeah, it's stuff. Things and stuff with a filter and then basic plug to another plug. It's actually pretty much the same. Yeah, then pay attention to that. So now, uh. Dullish th synth. It's a synth that I get kind of dullish uh, properties like. These dullish properties are coming from the FM here. Actually, this FM. Even if it's not supposed to do anything, it does some weird stuff. But yes, yeah, there. And <laughs> the shape is just. Yeah. Uh, a variant of this one. I actually didn't mess with the, with the things. It can pretty much hear it's pretty much the same sound. Just a slightly bit altered. Uh, this one is actually, I really like. Uh, don't ask me how I did it, I just put random stuff and. Get this. I don't think I'm gonna use it um, very soon, but I think the sound is pretty cool, so yeah. Have, have fun with that. A bass, just a uh, uh, bass, not, not a bass like doing some hardcore bass, just a bass like uh, just some low frequency. But uh, I think that there is a little bit of FM here, doing some fun stuff, and I think it's pretty cool. You can alter it just a little bit. And next. Okay, so uh, now we're on to the FM bases. I'm just gonna show some of them. There uh, are so many, like from there, going all the way down here and here. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go through every each single one of them. So. Uh, this one is actually one of my favorite. It's so just uh, before giving you this, uh, if you're doing some automation and think it sounds like too smooth to the automation you should be doing, like that doesn't really sound like it. What it should be? It's because there is smooth enabled here. Like if you just remove it. Now it sounds way more sharper. So now you know. Sometimes I've been able to do sometimes I uh, didn't, so yeah. Uh, this one, another one. Another one, let's move on to uh, some other, like here. Also, if you go too high in frequency, it will sound good, bad, not good, like this. It hurts the ears and ah, yeah. In this note, especially, it sounds bad. It's because of um, aliasing. To remove this, you can just turn turn on over sampling here. But uh, be aware that the more you put this up, the more CPU you will use. Like, uh, have a look at it here: 40, 14 percent, 64. Goes up to 44, and with only two, with only two, two or four, like doesn't do anything. But now you know. And some messy. I actually think this one sounds pretty neat, which is weird because it's, it's a huge mess. And those messy stuff. That doesn't get things here anyway. Um. Scrunchy things. I think it's scrunchy, but uh, tough. Okay, uh, some soft FM. Because I do soft FM. 
It's not soft. Actually, I think we compared to some some other soft. This sounds kind of squarey, but I'm gonna tell you how to do this exactly. Um, doing a squarey FM is not very complicated. You just take every single thing that is uh, FMing the this uh, this wave here and just put it an octave high. Like here is one, here it's two, here it's two, here it's two, and this one is twenty. It's just some detail. Um, if I actually take like this one and take all these oscillators except for the first and the third and take these. Uh, twice our high here 60 60 and this one 2 uh, it's the sub actually so I'm not gonna move no but this one 2 sounds kind of squarey but it's weird it doesn't always work but it's almost always so now some talky <laughs> And to finish some weird FM. All FM spaces are right here are weird, so anyway. Some high flux. This one I actually used uh, in the track. In the, in the third part. Another, another high block. Some pad. Which I think is pretty neat, this pad. It's using some stuff with um, uh, frequency offsets and um, FM stuff. I think it's pretty interesting what it does. Uh, I'm not sure how I made it, because it's a random stuff and it works. But if you wanna check it out, just do uh, nothing here again. Some uh, this one actually pretty interesting. Like uh, it's a sound I really like, and I used in a track. I don't remember which one. It was one of the uh, maybe locked. I'm not sure, but it's this. If you heard the track and heard this sound, you probably recognize this. I think it sounds pretty cool. Doing, uh, I'm doing this with a uh, plug stuff here. If I just take uh, the second oscillator, it does this. Like I'm FMing the first oscillator with this plucked oscillator, so it does this. It's mainly this, the rest is just details. So you have with that, and this! The process of making this actually pretty interesting. I tried to do kind of the same thing I did with this uh, uh, detune saw in Harmor, but the thing is that you can't really do that with Citrus except if you just count the harmonics and stuff. But uh, stuff I just did is that I took um, just the sine wave uh, of the of the saw and pitched it down, or I could, I just, I could uh, or the opposite. I just took all of it, all of the sine wave except or the fundamental, it pitched it up and just distorted these together like if I remove this distortion it sounds like this it sounds as dumb as it was, even more dumber than what it was in Harmer and when you distort it is very different and interesting oh yeah and then we've got some wobbly thing again This one is very loud. It's like I pushed this up, so I don't know why. But and and then this. If you heard my track Noah Guy, you will recognize this immediately. Not not this. Ah, this. Like this was the track. Uh, not exactly the same note, but uh, it was in Noah, I guess, so it's this. Uh, it's some wobbly thing, like what we've got at the up wobble, but... Yeah, fun 
stuff. Uh, is that it? No, yeah, there is this. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what is there, so... Uh, I expect the worst. Oh, it's actually not that bad. I actually tried to do the... Like, the FM bass thing Simulus was talking about, but doing some fun stuff with things like adding a triangle and... Uh, FMing this triangle. Like, this is the original thing. Original thing. Added the triangle. And FM the triangle. Fun stuff. Um... Cool stuff. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, there is this. Which I think is a pretty, a pretty good SFX, like some um, droplet thing he has it's called since droplet. Can change the amount of noise. Change the amount of synthy background thing. Uh, being left with only the droplet. It's not exactly a droplet, of course. It's, oops, it's just kind of sound like, kind of sound like a droplet, so we call it droplet. Uh. I don't remember what this is, so let's discover this. Okay, that is some weird synth. <laughs> if you want a weird th synth, it's there. Um, and this Atmos thing there was... Uh, no, it's not this Atmos thing, but some... patty thing. Just <sighs> pretty high in frequency. Years. Okay. So uh, this stuff, um, weird stuff, it's coming from all these weird FM stuff. And then we just say this and this. So yeah. Nothing much. And that's it for the Cypher's presets. And let's move on to Patcher. I uh, know it, not this. Okay. So, uh, these AS thing, I think uh, I call these AS thing because I think these bases are awesome. So, AS hard bass, it's. It kinda, if you just notice, it kind of sounds like this uh, electro bass synth. It's not, it's not kind of sounds like it's exactly the same, but more distortion. So it's there. Then this layered with some other stuff, and it's... It's pretty cool. And the sound actually, I think... Yeah, this is some sound uh, noise thing. Just get want to get rid of the noise trick and just mute that. Okay, and this that I used twice in this project. Which is like my favorite bass of all time I made. <laughs> I just love this one. The process of making it is pretty weird. I think it's sound, I don't remember which sound. It's the harmonizer and, and, and stuff. And did this! And distortion. <laughs> That's the sound. Okay, next, uh, a bandpass bass that I used in this Roar project that I sh already showed. It happened with that. Uh, the detune scratch, uh, there was in hard mode, but now with the mod, like a kind of a linked mod, you can do. Yeah, you can do some pretty cool stuff with that too. Um, okay, so this one, if you want to show us, okay, this one is actually a preset I really like, and it's pretty interesting in the, in the process I made it, so, um, sounds like this. So, there is a huge process just to make this fuzziness we can hear in the sound, it's not from the reverb, but this fuzziness here. It kind of moves around, it clicks around, it's voluntary. It's because of uh, 
They think, and you can even change the amount of fuzziness, like do. And here it gets pretty messy. So yeah, you can have fun with that. And you're like, oh my god, when you look at this, it's just stuff. Uh, yeah, it's pretty horrible. So, um, you can see noise gener gen it's a noise generator. It's noise. Full on noise. Nothing much more than noise. It's 100% noise. When you look at this EQ here, you can see like a huge peak here. And it's actually where the, the notes come from. If I just take this output here, it's pretty quiet, but you can hear it. Sounds like a sine wave, but very wobbly sine wave in a very cool way. So, uh, all the stuff until there, here, it just, here it's just some boost and some limiting. So that it sounds uh, very consistent. Like, here is the sound before all of this. Just a tiny bit of a distortion because of the boot here. Uh, also, no volume envelope because the volume envelope is here. So yeah, and then distortion. So the main tone of the sound comes from this distortion. The distortion is pretty special. Uh, just move some random stuff around, but it's pretty special because it's bipolar. Like here is the uh, upper um, upper end of the of the of the wave, and here is lower end of the wave with the wave, and it's something like this. Uh, this. <laughs> So yeah, now we've got the sound and just here some volume articulation to make the um, uh, attack and release thing. I, I cannot do it here because of all the boosts and distortion and stuff, so I had to do it later. So that's how I did it. And here is something I've tried and actually worked pretty well. So here, I, you can see it's called left only, because here I got only the left speaker going out. So if you take only this channel, you can hear only the left. Yeah, and it sounds weird. And here is only the right. It's actually not only the right because of the properties of the flanger. But it's almost only the right, so just balance this, put in a reverb. Uh, just the limiter to make it uh, quieter, because it was a bit loud. And compress it a bit. But, and it is this. Uh, I didn't compress it at all, so yeah, it's just to make it quieter. And you can put some reverb. Put some reverb. Actually, you actually don't need this to to put reverb. But uh, it's there, so if you want to do it. And actually, th see the pitch thing. And it's actually because um, you cannot move the pitch by moving. It. Uh, by doing some slide notes. So if you want to move the pitch around, you just have to move this. And if you middle uh, middle mouse click, it goes back to normal at 50%. <laughs> okay, weird stuff. And that's it for the sound. Next sound, goats. <laughs> Which is a pretty weird sound, but sounds pretty cool. Actually, here you can see band pass and low pass. Uh, it's what it is, band pass and low pass. So here we've got a bass, distorted bass, uh, slightly distorted bass. This. Uh, don't ask me how I made the bass. I just uh, made the bass, the bass. So here uh, you can see an EQ down there. EQ we've got only low and high. It's uh, whatever you do with the band pass, you still got low end, and high end. It sounds like this. So now, uh, I, did a, I used the low filter, I don't know why, but I used the low filter instead of an EQ, so we can't see what you do, but you can see it here. If I just take the EQ in the surface, you can see the band moving here, and then distortion, like super harsh distortion, and that's the sound! That it, that's it! Also, low pass here, forgot to mention this. Next sound! A guitar thing. Uh, the right one, right? Yeah, guitar synth. So, it's a guitar with synth and sounds like a synth guitar.
So, this thing is actually originally a... Go to image here. It's originally a guitar sample that I resemble. If you just see playing... This kind of go there and... and wobbles a bit. It's a... Power chord. I don't know which one it was a power chord, which is power chord. But yeah, I did a sub because there was no sub. Like without the sub, with the sub, doesn't change much, but it does change a bit. So I think it's better than this way. Hardcore. Uh, so yes, sorry if you don't own hardcore, but hardcore distortion is pretty unique. So it's hardcore. Uh, reverb is here, but I'm not using it. Like, uh, get ready because sound original is stupid. So it's a power code, not distorted at all. The guitar was a electroacoustic guitar, so... How you know? It's also a bit altered, I think. Uh, I don't remember how I altered it. It is, it is altered. Also, uh, I want to mention that you can do some fun stuff by like making it uh, very harsh, and it sounds still sounds like a guitar because of the distortion. But if I just take this and get the sound out of like this, it just doesn't sound like anything. It's just stupid stuff. But then. But the distortion sounds pretty good, so yeah. Uh, with the mix all the way on, without the mix. Uh, without the mix, it basically means everything is at the same tone. Uh, whatever the, um, the whatever the, is the volume of the the harmonic in this image, it will be all harmonics will be the exact volume here. But as you can see, it's not very much the same because I'll do some little alterations here. So yes, that's why there are some holes. Okay, so uh, it's mainly the effect. Uh, just some EQ, some covers, some EQ, and then uh, kind of compress this. Otherwise, that compression is pretty weak. Oops, uh, like. And now with compression, sounds like quite better. Okay, next sound. I've got an FM bane pass. So the generator is an FM. It's one of my presets. I don't know which one, but it is one of my presets. And with the band pass and the distortion. So band pass is the same thing as here with the goats. So here I can change the amount of FM in the generator. I take the rigid generator out and and again there is smooth though if you wanna do some pretty wacky stuff. Okay and then if it I don't need that to ch to move it this there's just so you can have easy access to it. And then there's this thing which is lemons and why is it called lemons? Because it's basically the base from Lemon Run. It is the base from Lemon Run. The process of making the base is uh, my preset face plug 3 that I altered a bit. Going through an EQ with a peak here. Actually doing a peak, bef uh, doing, doing an EQ before distortion is very interesting. Like if I remove this. That's some pretty interesting stuff. Then, distortion, um, it's a uh, bipolar distortion, so this is plus, this is minus. Uh, we just did some random stuff and it was cool. Stick with that. Another EQ. So this is to bring down the original uh, peak that was. Uh, you might be asking, if you put the peak, why remove it? It's because uh, the effect on distortion is pretty cool, it has. Yeah, and just uh, saturation in the end, and that's the sound. Yeah. So, now a pad. It's called long pad code. Which 
He's got short and long um, LFOs, kind of. So this pad is a huge mess. Um, I just put some random stuff, random things, and put some LFOs and volume slopes stuff doing thing. Uh, just don't ask. Yes, how it is. Nothing. Nothing else. So yeah, just EQ. Because there was a huge load of high end that sounded really bad and hurt the, hurt my ears because of the EFM and stuff. So you are the you the LFO you can kind of hear and some compression like uh, without compression with compression bring back this low end that was missing. So yeah, pretty cool pad I think. Uh, and a pluck in patcher. If you if you take a look, uh, it's uh, it looks like a monster, but it's actually pretty simple. The generator that is my uh, preset, solid plug three, it's slightly altered. Sorry for the mic. Uh, and then we've got this EQ and this envelope controller. So here, whoops, these things are changing how the EQ reacts. Like the first one changes the speed at which, uh, uh, the rate at which it goes down. Uh, not the rate, but the uh, the lowest end. And this defines the highest point. Uh, no, sorry, it doesn't define the highest point. It it's a basic cut in the end. So yeah, first plug, nothing interesting. Second plug is. A a bit more interesting, I think, in the sound like this. Presents, I don't know. It's it might actually be one of my face plug things thing, but uh, I don't know. Don't ask. Like earlier, there, but this one there is only this one time there is only one thing, and if you look at the. The behavior, oops, the behavior of Q here. There are actually two things happening at the same time, as you can see. There is this um, thing boosting up this uh, half, half uh, high end part. And the thing going down. So, yeah, that's pretty much the sound. The other thing are just some slight distortion. It's not very slight, it's still some distortion, but distortion. Some volume automation uh, for a cleaner sound, some delay and reverb. Nothing much. Then another plug again. <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> this one is very different. Sorry. So uh, we've got plug R A. There's just plug rate. The T E got cut. I don't know why. Basically defines just like. Uh, before the height of the puck. Know that if you put it there, then if you have the threshold all the way up, then it kind of stay in place. You, you kind of just have to adapt the threshold depending to the rate you do. If you want no plug at all, you just have to have the threshold all the way up and rate all the way down. If you want a very short plug, have the threshold about here and stuff. So you yeah, have fun with that. And then some Reese scene that I really like. Uh, actually, it's called Reese scene, but it's a bass. So yeah. So the bass is cons is uh, the bass here and the sub here. Uh, don't know how. Don't ask how I made the bass. I have no idea. It's just a Reese bass. Uh, some compression. You give it a, just random stuff. Uh, distortion and reverb. That's the bass. Some other bass. Uh, which I actually used harmless here. I don't know why. Probably because I used a preset. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I did this like uh, random stuff. Oh, some school. Okay, let's keep that. Uh, and 
It sounds pretty dumb, but this sounds pretty neat at the same time. Yeah, yeah so have fun with that. Uh, <laughs> some stupid lady thing. It is actually some stupid lady thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sweetie Swooty. The patient just names just oh new name. Okay, Sweetie Swooty. Um, yeah, so this is the lead from Lemon Run. You can might be able to recognize this. Uh, it's not exactly the same, but pretty much the same. Yeah, so, uh, now, uh, so this is also a sample here. This is this sample, but it is the generator, so it is. We can ch we can change stuff with the speed, time, and things here. Uh, there are two oscillators here, so be aware of that. That's it. Okay, uh, next we got this weird thing that was in the second part. Is it over? Already heard that. Uh, a pad. I think it's pretty cool. It's in two parts. There is this part. It's just some talky thing here. It's with some release and some. Some super salt. It's a bit of a distortion. Oh, no, no, it's actually a fuzzy bass. So it's a fuzzy bass preset with uh, this, and it's a pad. Pretty cool pad. If you just want the top part, you can just do this. And I got the top part. Yeah, you should delete this because it's a tiny bit of CPU. Or take the preset out. Yeah. Uh. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. Stuff opening. Wait, why? Uh, wait, what? What was this pad? There! I didn't say it in Greece, so I'm gonna add it right away. Okay, uh, I thought it was in Greece at this thing, so we pad, uh, if it save it here, and save it in the preset pack, pad, like, Data, music projection, file studio, sounds bank, and, and there, and badger presets, there. So these are the presets, let's go through these, um, these samples pretty quick. There anyway, we got this click kick we got over there. We got the snare! We got some growls! That I just recorded from some of my tracks, these are chords that I wanted to talk about. Some impacts, several impacts with reverb, because I love reverb. Uh, these ones are actually the same. <laughs> anyway, there. Okay, you know. <laughs> and this thing we talked about earlier. Some crashes with these tri, tri PSFXs we got earlier. Which can lead some in to interesting stuff. Uh, the same thing back we talk about. And a crash with some white noise and stuff. So yeah, that's the pack. Uh, if you wanna get the pack, uh, it's totally free, you can have it. There. You have everything. It cause, uh, even, even if you have the pack, you can pretty much get all the sounds on me, cause I pretty much release every track, uh, not every track, but every, uh, Project of track, not every but almost every because sometimes I can't, sometimes big things and stuff. So, yeah, uh, if you got any questions about this, just let me know and I will answer by. Yeah, we answer it. So, yeah, anyway, uh, get the preset for free and thanks for watching, I guess. <laughs>